Hello students, how are you all? Everything cool? Alright. So, have you been to a village in your summer vacations? Where there is computers and television and theatres? What about that? Only few computers and television you can see in the village, isn't it? Okay. And what is the difference between this village and city life? What all things we can see in the village? Yes, we can see many things. Which all are they? Yes. What all games did you play in the village? Did you enjoy your time there? Do you think although life in village is slower or faster? It's little slower because there is no much facilities or technologies like the city. But it's quite calm and silent. We will get fresh air. We can breathe fresh air from the village. Village, we can see the real beauty of nature. We can see paddy fields. We can see many animals, birds, flowers, everything. But in the city life, we can see the busy life of people. And also, what we can see, yes, it's full of pollution, dust, smoke, everything. Isn't it? Okay, so today we are going to learn a poem about summer in a village. Summer in a village. So this poem tells us about the beauty of nature. Beauty of nature. In this poem, the poet describes about his own experiences in the village. And he had learned many things in the village. Okay, let's go through the lines. So, shall we recite the poem? All of you take page number 17 in your textbook. Page number 17 in your textbook, okay? Summer in a village would be such a bar. I thought but I learned to walk without shoes with mud between toss. To sow paddy seeds and pull out all weeds. To sing from the banyan tree. To ride buffaloes for free. To see tadspole became frogs and play with village dogs. Summer in a village was happier than I thought when I made new friends. So this is the poem Summer in a Village. In this poem, the poet tells us about his own experiences in the village he had. And he was also explaining about many things that he saw in the village such as Dogs, buffaloes, tadpoles, frogs, then paddy fields. And he used it to sow the seeds and weeds. So, etc, etc. He told about many things, okay? So, we are going through the first seven lines. All of you listen carefully. So, the title of the poem is Summer in a Village. Summer in a Village. And it's lesson two. Summer in a village would be such a bore. I thought but I learned to walk without shoes, with mud between toss, to sow paddy seeds and pull out all the So, summer in a village would be such a bore. So, at the beginning of the poem, the poet explains that at the when he reached the village, he thought that the life in the village will be really boring and it will be dull. That means the poet has no any interest in the village life. At the beginning, he thought that the village life is really boring and it's very really dull. Summer in a village would be such a bore. He thought that the life in the village will be bored. I thought, but I learned. Actually, he thought that the life in the village will be bored. But I learned, but after that, after some days, after spending some time in the village, the poet came to know that he learned some things. He learned, but I learned to walk without shoes. To walk without shoes. He learned to walk without shoes. Without wearing any chapel or shoes, he learned to walk in the mud. With mud between toes, mud, mud. Yes, he learned to walk in the mud. And toss meaning? Yes, the fingers in the leg is called as toss. And his toes are filled with full of mud. And he learned to walk without 
walk without shoes in the mud. To sow paddy seeds. What do you mean by this sow? S-O-W. Sow. Sow means scatter the seeds. Scatter the seeds in the field. That means in the farmland. So to sow paddy seeds. Paddy seeds. And he also, the poet also learned to sow paddy seeds. Sow means scatter the seeds. He also learned to scatter the paddy seeds in the farmland. And pull out all weeds. And pull out all weeds. What is the meaning of weeds? Weeds meaning unwanted plants. So weeds meaning unwanted plants. And what is the opposite of pull? Pull, push. So what is the opposite of pull? Pull. Yes, try. Pull opposite is push. Okay. Okay, so and pull out all weeds. And the poet also learned to pull out, to took out the unwanted plants from the field. That means the farmland. And he also learned to pull out all the unwanted plants from the field. So at the beginning of the poem, the poet told us that he thought that the village life will be really boring and it will be really dull. But after some days, he came to know that it was really interesting. And he learned a lot of things. And what was that? Yes, he learned to walk without shoes and mud down his toes. He learned to walk in the mud. And he also learned to scatter seeds. He also sowed the seeds, paddy seeds. He also learned to scatter the paddy seeds and pull out all weeds and he also learned to pull, pluck out the unwanted plants from the fields. Okay, so this is the seven lines of the poem. Try to recite a poem with a tone of your own. Okay, so if you have any doubts in these seven lines, you can ask me in the next DC section. So that's all for today. Let's continue this poem in the next class. Thank you. Bye.